Grabbing a homemade breakfast burrito is going to start off any day the right way. Especially if you're enjoying one of these delicious burritos that are filled with a combination of savory cooked meat, crispy hash browns, fluffy eggs, and topped with a magical sauce. These are easy to whip up and convenient for a quick breakfast, and I'm going to show you how to make them today on The Stay at Home Chef. First, I like to make a Southwest flavorful sauce that's going to take these burritos up a notch. In a bowl, add in a half a cup of mayonnaise, or you could use sour cream as a substitute, a fourth a cup of hot sauce, give or take to your liking, a tablespoon of lime juice, which is going to come from about one small lime, that gives it nice tang, and then add in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Mix these together, and then go ahead and set that aside. Making this sauce in advance will really allow those seasonings to develop and pull out some amazing flavor. Now we're going to head over to the stove. In a large skillet, heat four tablespoons of salted butter over medium high heat. I'm using 20 ounces of frozen hash browns, which I thawed by popping them in the microwave for a few minutes. Then go ahead and cook those hash browns in that hot melted butter and season them up with a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to let this cook just as is for about five minutes, then flip to ensure we get browning. Once those hash browns are cooked and browned up, go ahead and scoop them into a bowl, and we're going to set that aside. Back into the skillet, add in one pound of ground sausage, and brown that for about five minutes. Break it up as it cooks. Now that it is thoroughly cooked and somewhat browned, we're going to add in eight ounces of chopped ham, or you could use a shredded ham from that super tasty pulled ham recipe. Also add in one medium onion that's been chopped up and one chopped up red bell pepper. And give that a stir and let that brown for an additional six to eight minutes until those veggies have softened and also got a little more browning on them. I love green chilies in my breakfast burritos, so I'm adding in a four ounce can of diced green chilies. Totally optional, but I recommend doing so. Then to the skillet, we're gonna add in 10 large beaten eggs. Give them a few turns with the spatula and cook them for about five minutes until they're fluffy, then season them with a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. And give that a stir. Turn off the heat and add back in the hash browns. Now it's time to make some burritos. To assemble the burrito, I'm using a 12 inch tortilla. Smear about a teaspoon of that delicious sauce onto that tortilla. Add about a half a cup to three-fourths a cup of the filling into the tortilla. Then give that a sprinkle of cheese with however much you want. And wrap it up. These are great to make in advance and pop in the freezer. And if you want to learn how to do that, head over to our website and we have all the tips and tricks. I'm going to enjoy these burritos now, so I am ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.